Hey guys, sorry I sound a little bit weird. Sickness has befallen me. Anyway, put all that aside so that I can edit this video finally and unfortunately that affects my voice. So for those of you who entered the game jam, this video is finally up. All your stuff is going to be showcased, but we'll get to that very soon. We had an interview with the winners or the representative of the winning team. So we'll get straight into it. So play the video, Gary. Anyway, so we're here talking about your lit game. We are going to pretty much just ask some basic questions on where the ideas came from, what you guys did within the three days. Um, so pretty much that, who came up with the idea? I think it was like a pretty much a team effort uh, yeah. because we we did a like a very general brainstorming session where we just tried to uh, pin down some fun ideas and also try to do something a bit original. Um, yeah. First, we had like an idea about uh, a day night cycle that during the day you need to like collect flames and then during the night you use the flames as like a fuel tank or whatever and uh, enemies try to take it down but then we felt it's it's so classic with with um, defending against like dark darkness and such yeah so we wanted to try to make the game a little bit more about hunting and uh, trying to embrace that kind of um, perspective or, or gameplay on onto the game uh, which we thought would be a little bit more original and uh, also quite fun I played it. Do you guys think like three days was actually enough? I think it was like uh, w we worked quite stressfully. Uh, we yeah. we were like s super dedicated, but <laughs> I think m more more of that would just have turned us down because uh, like even from the start, we also said there's gonna be conflicts and there's gonna be like irritation towards one another because yeah. uh, if, since people have different views and different opinions on how the game should look, uh, there's gonna be like disagreements and such but i think if we were, were have to have like four days instead of three yeah there might have been some of those uh extra touch-ups uh, and polish yeah up. situations yeah. where where uh, we might not have been able to like handle it as well yeah. um since three days was yeah for us it was uh, just about enough i think so uh so i was gonna ask about the characters and stuff like that did you guys actually design the character through the artist or did you guys collectively decide hey we want to go with a lantern for it i think it sprung out from an idea that val may had about uh, some old sketch she had did before and oh, yeah. then we talked about like collecting flames well what should you collect it in and then lanterns works fine and then like uh she like brought up the idea hey what doesn't it have like a lantern for head and uh, then she did some sketches for it and it looked so great and we were all like super sold on it oh, that's so cool do you guys plan on like working on it some more or i don't know uh, i feel like right now that i need to take a little bit of break do you guys stay awake for long periods of time or yeah, some some in our team uh, were like, "No, nah, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. And just <laughs> sit up and program." Uh, we were re really dedicated on that front, and also like setting the alarm early. Uh, yeah. But I think one of the one of the more uh, rewarding parts of it was like waking up and people. Since we had a team split mm. all out over the world, uh, when you wake up and you you look at Unity and you update it and. And you see a lot of stuff has happened yeah, just yeah. Uh, when was... since you were going to sleep and that was like really fun to see were you guys using that um unity team uh sorry team uh what do you call it uh not Dropbox. like the cloud feature the cloud that's the one unity cloud yeah worth the download because i've never actually worked with someone online i've never yeah i i think like we had someone that had used it before who said that this version was quite a little bit buggy since yeah. some of the um, stuff could disappear, but that was like one once or twice during the whole project, so it wasn't really that that big of a deal. Um, other than your game, what was your other? What was your favorite game in the entire game jam? Ooh, I'm I'm gonna. Uh, I think like some of the, my favorites personally were uh, both Dark Scroll. I think like the voice acting was oh, like yeah. really really fun with the Dark Lord, blah 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 blah, blah <laughs> or what it's called uh and also like the voice acting uh, on a little light yeah uh, because like, like every time you died you just said fuck, fuck. yeah and it, and it was like super fun. it cracked me up like uh, every yeah. time 
I, I've already recorded like the video of actually um like because I give sort of feedback on that. That was the f- one thing I could say about that game that was just pure <laughs> awesome. Was every time you die, it's it you laugh a little bit. It's, it's yeah. funny. It was it's quite an addicting one actually. It was strange yeah. because some of the ones that were in actually the very very bottom like twenty five twenty six were like my favorite ones and I don't understand why they didn't get in uh, why people didn't vote for them. I think also like the one called Fire, a game about magic, fire, and yeah. Demon and Ghost Fingers of Darkness, <laughs> best name. Uh, <laughs> but like they had like a boss boss fight mechanic that was like yeah. pretty similar to something out of like Binding of Isaac. That's that, what I that said. Was... Oh my god! Because I've recorded the yeah, game, I was giving feedback fun. to all of these, and I said <laughs> for the um, Fire game, first of all, I laughed at the title because it was extremely yeah, <laughs> and I was like, this just it just reminded me of the Binding of Isaac. You're right with the whole tier thing yeah 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 dodging bullets and and, like (laughs) area effects abilities and yeah it was pretty cool i also like played your your flame in the rain was that done in oh my god that's horrible was was that unreal or (laughs) that wasn't unreal that's unity oh really yeah i just like because i was like ah i don't have time to make any models i don't have time to texture because i only had like a day and a half because i had to leave yeah, but no, the game is just like, oh, okay, just make pixel art. And then I saw this thing called, I think it's called The Last Night, and it comes out soon. It's a very, very modern take on uh, those retro-styled games. And so I was like, you know what, I'm going to try that. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. Like, it's, uh, d- did you use your own music for that? Or? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, it sounds, sounded really good. I think I gave it a 5 on, on the on the music part, so. or the sound part. Even though, like, the gameplay sucks. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> God, the gameplay sucks what was that game called um i played like one where you're in a forest uh or what was it called uh, was it cave of ooh, darkness I... yeah i think it was cave of darkness yeah and cave like that ending oh the jump I got scare so thing. fucking angry yeah oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i got scared at the first part when you when you flick the third level yeah and like you're a and scream and i was like yeah. mm. and, and then I... when i when the ending like <laughs> thanks for playing and then like half a second later that yeah, shit yeah. pops up First, I was super annoyed, and then I like sent a link to everyone <laughs> in my team. So, you, have you played this yet? <laughs> Just wanted to scare them a little bit. I know, I know. There's only really one answer to this question, but did you actually enjoy working with these people? Like, will you, will you work with them in the future? Or yeah, like uh, I got super like um, I wouldn't say surprised as something like negative. Like. I didn't have a bad perspective on on the group members from start, but like I was pleasantly surprised anyway, uh, because everyone uh, was super motivated to make this yeah. like a good good project, and and also I, I saw some like huge talent in both our artists and and uh, and the programmers, like how f- fast they are and how uh, yeah. how smart they are and how they can solve problems and such. So uh, I can I'll stay definitely stay awake for so long. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, but but yeah, I'm I'm in contact with uh, uh, at least Bahala still uh, for other projects. But we were yeah. we were um, talking before about other stuff uh, as well. Uh, but I'll I'll definitely like want to do something more with with these people. Definitely. Thanks to Alex for doing the interview with me. And now we're going to move on to the showcase. I'm just going to show all of your products. Originally, I was going to comment on every single one. Well, originally, originally, I was actually going to interview everyone. My voice is horrible right now. Sound is actually a big part of game design and the sound of your game. Some people had awesome soundtracks. Some people had amazing like sound effects and stuff. I put it all in the software and I kind of didn't want to get rid of the sound. And I thought that was not much way of me talking over top of the sound. So everyone gets 30 seconds each. Oh, thank you to everyone who joined. You made my life a blessing. You made my sickness worth it.
Dark Lord Yudlutlu has taken over the power and banished all the former heroes into the caverns of Brood. Our hero, Manuka, fell deep into the caverns. There, he slowly recovered and ventured around.
So thanks again to everyone for joining. The next Game Jam will be on a surprise date. Later.